Well, happy Monday, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving week. I know this is a week all of us look forward to every year. I am as well. Glad you're with me today for our devotion. We are in the book of 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4, and I trust you've already read this chapter and written in your journal what God said to you. This is one of the more powerful chapters in the Bible uh, that speaks on the subject of, of love. But what really caught my mind and heart this time when I read it is the opening verses where he talks about false prophets, false preachers, uh, and the Antichrist, the spirit of Antichrist. So let's read those six verses and then talk about them for just a, just a moment. He says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this, you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of Antichrist, of the Antichrist, of which you have heard that it is coming, and now it is already in the world. You are from God, little children, and, over, and, and uh, have overcome them. Because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. They are from the world. Therefore they speak as from the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God. He who knows God listens to us. He who is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Now, a lot about false teachers... And it's all centered around what one believes and teaches about the person of Jesus Christ. In this passage, he mentions uh, Jesus coming in the flesh because, as I've mentioned in previous devotions, there were those who, because of the dualistic approach of, of, uh, of Greek philosophy, uh, believed that Jesus the Christ, rather the Christ, inhabited the body of Jesus at the baptism by John and then departed the body of Christ before he was crucified, drawing a distinction between the spirit and the flesh that led them to moral sin, thinking that you could be pure on the inside, pure in the spirit while sinning in the body, and therefore what you did with your body was was would, would didn't matter. So they justified sexual sins in the body while being pure spirit. And that sounds crazy to us, but that was the false teaching of their day. The, the, the application for you and me is what someone says about Jesus, teaches about Jesus, believes about Jesus is central to determining whether they are of God or of the world, of God or of the Antichrist, the spirit of the Antichrist. And he tells us don't believe everything that everyone says. What they say about Jesus matters. And, and, and it's not just is Jesus in the flesh. So the, 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 the central teachings of Scripture about the person of Jesus Christ, that he is divine and human, fully God, but became man at Bethlehem, that he really did die on the cross to make atonement for our sins, that he really was raised from the dead, that he really is the Son of God. All that and others, the, the, the core teachings of, of Scripture about the person of Jesus, if anyone teaches in any way contrary to those, it's not of God. It is of the world. It is of Antichrist is the point that he is making. Um, he, don't, don't live in fear because in verse 4 he tells us that the Holy Spirit who is in us is more powerful than all these false teachers out there in the world. But what was really interesting to me is verse 5. Because he, he says these false teachings are from the world and the world listens to them. In other words, when people rise up who teach wrong things about the person of Jesus, don't be surprised when there are people who believe it, who listen to it and believe it. And one of the ways you know if someone is of God or not is what do they say and teach about Jesus, and what do they believe about Jesus? Those who are of God teach the truth about Jesus and believe the truth about Jesus. Those who are not of God, those who are of the world, those who are of the culture, say things about Jesus that are not true 
and believe things about Jesus that are not true. Even if they pretend to be religious, philosophical, it doesn't matter. What you say, teach, and believe about the person of Jesus Christ is central to whether you are of God or of the world, of the Antichrist. So don't be surprised when the people of the world believe lies about Jesus or only believe part of the truth about Jesus and reject other parts of the truth about Jesus because they just don't want to believe it. This, this reality, it was true in John's day 2,000 years ago. It's true in our day. So don't be surprised when you hear nonsense. Don't be surprised when you hear someone teach heresy. Don't be surprised when you hear someone say things about Jesus that you know are biblically incorrect. That has always been the case. It is the case, and it will be the case until the second coming of Jesus. Um, just because someone uses Jesus' name does not mean they are of Jesus. The Bible teaches Jesus is the eternal God who took upon himself humanity when he was born, who died a literal physical death on the cross to pay the penalty for our sin, was buried, literally raised from the dead, literally ascended to the Father, will literally come back again for his people, and will be the one who judges humanity at the end of time. That's what the Bible teaches about Jesus. Anyone who denies any part of that teaching of Jesus is not of God. Stay true to Jesus. Stay true to Jesus. Stay true to Jesus. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.